Uh, welcome to a new video and uh, this time we want to take a look at Xperia 10 Mark II and the possibility to put something on here which you only get on the Xperia 1 and the Xperia 1 Mark II which is Cinema Pro. And I'm not talking about the actual app itself, the Cinema Pro app itself that I can start here and uh, show you. No, I'm not talking about this, but I'm talking about something very similar to this application and in some terms even more advanced than this application. Because I was always like struggling to get the correct way of filming with the Xperia uh, 10 Mark II. Because I like the Sony app because of the features and stability it has when it comes to electronic image stabilization, especially for video. But I didn't like that the Sony app does not have the option to set anything manually for video mode. And you don't have the option to see yourself talking, how's the sound. You just have to record and then play back and see if it works or not. So this time around I found an app that can do what video, what Cinema Pro app can do for video for the Xperia 10 Mark II as well. And it is called ProTake. As you can see here, I have it here on my device itself. And if I click on it, I have the full suite of things that I need to have when it comes to uh, doing good video. I know it is a paid application. I'm not sponsored by ProTake in any way or form. And I'm not even buying the full version. I'm just using the free version here and show you what is possible with the free version. So stay tuned and let's take a look in detail. So here we are on the uh, ProTag application and here you can see the various different uh, user uh, interface elements just like for example on the bottom left you can see the microphone levels going up and down which means it is picking up my sound and probably picking up the fire truck in the background that is uh, just driving past uh, but as you can see here this is working if I want to change the microphone and want to use the uh, headphone jack to plug in a microphone I can just go click here and then I have the option to just choose the microphone external even Bluetooth is uh, possible as you can see here and I can also see the levels here and can put them down if I don't like it so have a level limiter built in which is nice then you can see some different uh, settings here and the uh, next to it like the battery and the gigabytes uh, and clicking here you can see the minutes uh, so it's will switch from gigabytes to minutes that you have still time for recording so this is clearly a video centric app then what we can see on the uh, next to it is the the little uh, arrow here the flash you can turn on the flashlight as you can see here and turn it off then you can see the time here that you are recording or that you have left then we have another button here if we, if we click on this we have other options here as well like aspect ratio we can choose an aspect ratio if you want to record in a cinema like uh, format you have the option to do so as you can see here uh, this is the film look uh, and you can see slightly cropped in a bit. Uh, it, it will not crop in. It will like only. It will show you the full image, but it will show you the space that it uses for creating this full image. I think this is the best to see it here. And this gives you like a cinematic uh, kind of image, as you can see. So this is what it uses. You can also check uh, and change. Uh, say here, I want it to be cropped, so it will use black bars instead to really crop this um, image if you want to. Then you have some safe area here where you can set a limit here as well for this. And you have th some others like you can set third grid and uh, crosshair if you'd like to have or the horizon as well. And you can turn them off if you don't like them. So this works pretty nice. These are the settings here. Then you have the option to switch between auto mode and uh, manual mode. The manual mode is or the pro mode. The pro mode is uh, 
basically something that mostly I can just switch to it mostly is locked in several th things you have don't have the option to record something in here so this is something I will not address so much but you can see in the pro mode you have the option to choose uh, see a histogram waveforms uh, and this is pretty pretty handy for professional work as well but I only want to go into this auto mode and show you some other things What's cool is you have the option to switch the camera so I can go here directly into the wide super wide angle camera as you can see and I can also go into the zoom camera or the normal one. Then I have the option to rotate if I want to take TikTok uh, videos for example I have this option here to uh, blend everything out to fade everything out and I have another option here to have a display zoom so it will zoom on to the display which is also pretty cool so i have now the whole display used here for the video and i have the option to turn the display brightness to maximum it's especially useful when you're filming something outside and uh, yeah want to see everything clearly then we have some other settings here as well we can go into settings and you can see there are some settings uh, under the paywall still but most of the settings are pretty nice like uh, frame rate uh, drop notice that you can turn on volume keys for recording recording flash uh, recording uh, what is it recording beeper so you can use a beeper for recording um, vertical video if you want to record something stabilization on and off you can turn it on and off here as well mirrored selfie mode uh, 50 hertz or 60 hertz flickering uh, reduction uh, or flicker in general you can turn on and protect plus you have some other options here as well accessories that you can get here and of course also the option to subscribe and buy the application itself um, what i like to do is show you some color profiles because this is also something very interesting for cinema pro users they have color profiles here also some of them which are free that you can choose here maybe i can put something what do i have here pen so you can see a bit of color here and how it changes uh, the color profile if i go through the profiles here some free and some some are blocked here but you can see you get the idea of color profiles so similar to what uh, cinema pro can do i think cinema pro has also very similar color profiles like this as well of course different color profiles but similar and i like this one for example and i could then just use this for filming and go out of it and i can just press record and now it's recording as you can see here it's showing me a red bar around so to signal signaling me that it's recording and see the time here i can choose the focus po point i can change it to whatever i like to i can uh, zoom in a bit but only digital i don't have the option which is a bit strange to uh, choose the a uh, different uh, angle different camera when recording which is bummer it could be that it is also a paid version thing but in general it works pretty nice and i have the option to record some video with an external audio and i think i will show you a small vlog that i recorded with this camera and uh, i just stop here right now of course i have the option to go into selfie mode and then you can see my fancy setup to record here and yeah i can record with this but i don't like the selfie cam so much so i will use the normal cam to show you a small little uh, video i think also with this uh with this what is it what do i choose vlogging style natural style that i use here i think it should be good for a vlog yeah and of course the app also allows you to change the frame rate and uh, resolution so we can click here and you can see it goes up to 4k that i can change here i can even change the uh, bit rate that i want to use for this video up to 32 megabits per second and uh, by default i think it is using the lowest or one of the lowest values is it lower eight is lowest and it was using the middle value 16 which is i think fine for 4k it is switching to 33 and you can see 
it has various different bit rates that it auto selects here and i can uh, go into the fps frame rate and i can do here 24 which is very cinematic i can go to 25 which as you can see here it's uh, telling me that it is uh, a converted version so it will use i think 30 to 25 30 and 120 i can choose here if i like to yeah and i have also the option to do a time lapse this is why there is a six frames per second option as well i think so now i'm recording with the pro take Apple take application in a cinema like or widescreen like aspect ratio vlog color profile 4k and 64 mbits per second this is the maximum that you can choose when it comes to recording 4k at least on the xperia 10 mark ii i have my external microphone plugged in i'm recording in 30 frames per second to make it easier later in post-production to match it with the other 30 frames per second video that i did i'm not so sure about the stabilization if i walk around here a bit like forwards and backwards you can see uh, it's not the best i have it now on my tripod here my selfie tripod selfie stick tripod and i'm not so sure if this is really the best option when it comes for vlog when it comes to blogging vlogging <laughs> and i'm not sure if it can pump out a bit more in terms of quality but it has the option to record cinema like uh, videos and i maybe try it in the future to try out how good the quality really is how good the stabilization is when it comes to not self vlogging and uh, yeah you can post in the comment section what you think about this application what do you think about the output this application can produce is it suitable for vlogging is it suitable for creating some nice uh, videos have you experience with the application itself just write it down in the comment section that's everything for this video i hope you enjoyed it uh, thanks for watching and until the next time bye